morning. It's Ken Baird again. Started uh, checking the stores this morning and doing a few small repairs. And as you can see in the background there, there's a dog. It's kind of hard to see. It's just more of a black spot, lack of sunlight more than anything else. Uh, the other part you see on there is a big pink harness. As much as it looks like she's just wandering around the car, she is strapped into the, the seat belt support. You know, if you do have to haul your animals around, you want to make sure they're strapped in pretty good. Um, you don't want to, you know, just have them flying around the car. You don't want them walking around distracting you and stuff. She's whining a little because she wants to get out right now. Looking around to see what's going on saying, hey, we're stopped. Let's go. But uh, she's a great dog taking the car. As soon as you get driving, she just lays down and goes to sleep. She's actually a bomb school dropout dog. Didn't quite make the cut for the TSA. So we managed to uh, get her from the training school and came pretty well trained and all the rest of her uh, litter are out wandering the airports, keeping America safe. So uh, that's uh, the tip for the day. If, like I said, if you gotta hit, haul your animals around in the car, make sure they're strapped in, make sure they're safe. You don't want them getting injured and you don't want to uh, have them flying around the car if there's an accident either. You know, it keeps you safe, keeps your kids and the animals safe. If there is an accident, said 80 pounds of dog flying around the car with legs kicking around isn't going to be a lot of fun for anybody. But she's starting to whine a little more, so we're going to get out touring around and talk to you later.